Hi folks and welcome to Masterclass. In this one, I wanna to talk to you about solar power and how you can add solar panels to your camper or caravan. Now with MDC trailers, most of the camper trailers, the solar connects straight through the Anderson plug. You simply choose a solar panel that's regulated, must have a regulator that connects via an Anderson plug, plug it into your draw bar and point it around. Now, if you have more than one solar panel you want to run at the same time, what you can do is piggyback them. So if we want to run two panels, and it doesn't matter if they're different watt panels, what you can do is run them parallel, which means positive to positive, negative to negative on the two panels, and with a two into one Anderson plug conversion, plug it into the draw bar and away you go. As long as they're regulated pa panels, they'll do the job, they'll charge the batteries, and if you've got, say, a 120 watt panel and a 180 watt panel, you will get exactly the combination of the output of those. If you run them in series, as in positive to negative, etc., like a series of batteries, you will only get the multiple of how many panels you have times the lowest value panel. So don't do it that way. You only do that if you want to increase the voltage output of the panels. That'll work with almost all our camper trailers. The Robson XTT is a little bit different in that it has a built-in solar panel and one of these guys, an IDC25 solar controller. If you want to run multiple panels, again, you can parallel piggyback them the way I've described up to 400 watts. The IDC25 will only allow 400 watts input through that. So with the caravans though, they're set up very different. They don't have an external input for the solar because we've got 300 watts all connected up on the roof, hardwired into the IDC25. So if you wanna up the amount of solar you have, the ideal way is to run another Anderson plug from the battery to an external point on the caravan in which you can plug in a regulated panel. There's only one solar input on the IDC25, so you can't run multiple inputs. What's on the roof, running into that is it, that's final. So like I said, if you wanna run additional panels, you need to wire it direct to the battery, make sure you fuse it, do everything safely, and then you can plug in regulated panels into the external socket you've installed and you've increased your solar power. It's that easy, folks. It's very, very simple. Follow those steps if you're unsure. Consult a, an auto electrician, a 12 volt or solar specialist, and have them installed for you. So there you go, folks. A little bit more information from Masterclass. If you want more information, see the rest of our videos, go to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook so you can see each one as it's available.